Hello, this is Pixie doing another video. Um, there's my lovely plants over there, quite happy. Uh, they're flying up, as you can see. There's my uh, Totora. Uh, swing you back in. Uh, there's my other one. Another beautiful plant. There's uh, San Pedro. So, giving it plenty of water is a good thing. And, um, not sure about this one at the moment. I thought it was Detora, but it could be something completely different. Um, it's like some purslane and possibly it could be um, some t tobacco type plant. So there's my pepper. And uh, uh, my secret chest. So there we go, that was the, the little one before, it was just like a little brown thing. So we gave it plenty of water and it shot up, which is quite good, and uh, these other chaps are quite happy as well. Um, and then this, my uh, peyote is um, looking happy as well, and he likes plenty of water. So uh, it's a bit of a myth about the um, always being dried out and stuff. Yeah, this is the other um, peyotes. As you can see, it's got some um, some sort of fungus that's got, um, issue. So I've got an experiment to do. Um, that's another little a little delight as well. So zoom it out. These babies. So they've come from Lithuania. Uh, perfect legal. Amantia muscaria. And, um, yeah, so what I'm going to try to do is recultivate some of them and then see if I can, because they've got a mycelium type relationship with living plants, that's why they can't easily be cultivated. But I may put them with a living plant. I may actually put, um, just line up there, <laughs> I may end up, um, like I say, remove the infected areas uh, of this chap and then put um, some spores on it and stuff um, <laughs> and see what we, I can create so I might make the first magic uh, San Pedro <laughs> um, but there's, there's other plants I can try it out with anyway and uh, just rehydrate them and I think I'm going to use um, honey in the formula basically so I'm like a, so when I try to rehydrate them I use a bit of some honey there's some other techniques for trying to grow things they probably won't work, so um, because it needs to grow with something. So I'm just going to show you something. So the other thing about this pepper is, it's you can see these um, roots. You can see its root structure actually. I could um, simply put the stuff around it straight in there, so it starts building a relationship. Uh, it might need some other, in essence, supplements or something that, that work with it because it uses, it quite likes um, pine pine trees and things like that and it wants a lot of carbon but I can always put some chip-ins and things in it with it and it can have form a kind of uh, relationship with this plant here so what happens, it'll just be totally out of there uh, if, it, if it's successful then I found a new way of um, cultivating uh, mushrooms and plants together because I mean if you see this chap here the little one right next to it is growing a lot faster than the one, um, so then this chap here, so this one's growing a lot faster against that. Could be this different plant here, um, but it's got benefits from this plant, so um, so it's interesting. There's a lot of um, planty stuff um, there's always to learn about. And um, this, this chap here is my uh, goji, so he's shooting up, he just needs a bit of organisation. All gone all over the place. Um, he was trying to climb from my blinds, and um, he was trying to uh, molest another plant, so I had to uh, sort it out basically. Um, he's, I just gave it a bit of water, but what it has it been doing is it's been pulling itself out of the um, from its stem root, it's been like trying to pull itself out of the um, soil and to get, move itself around. It's a tactic that the aloe vera does. This, this chap over here, look, he's trying to jump out the pot. But what he's doing, as he does it, he's leaving some stuff behind um, to basically um, recultivate itself. But however, this 
Goji is not going to bother with that at all. It's just gone a bit ballistic. It could be a defence if because I haven't been watering it so much. So maybe I'll give it a bit of extra TLC. So when it's kind of too dry the ground, it's pulling away from it because it, it, it can't use the ground so well. So maybe that's, it's kind of an intelligent system built in there. This chap here is bigger than the other ones simply because he's had um, a almost supplement. So you haven't really got the same results from these chaps here. Height-wise, um, even my moonflower is starting to slow down, but then it's got other things going on in it. Um, so yeah, it's it's still got some little sort of budding things going on now. Just have to see what happens. And this is quite strange the way that's gone. So um, yeah, lovely. Just keep uh, growing away. So uh, I will let you know of an update if I'm successful with the actual mushrooms. That will be a very interesting experiment. And if so, then it would be great. And this is the um, only uh, sunflower we've been able to germinate in, in a bottle. So it's um, starting to grow in now. It's a bit, a bit different. So um, anyway, this is uh, Piggly sign off, and I hope you enjoyed the video.